Greetings, loyal viewers. Coach Bob X here, and I'm back here once again with another video. I mean, after a long time away, unsurprisingly. So, this video is going is going to be me sharing my initial thoughts and, uh, uh, well, not well, not and right there. I, it's, it's more it's more like my thoughts on the recent Nintendo Direct that aired last night as of this video's upload. So, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go through the uh, the video timestamps and see, yeah. Yeah, shared about well, well what to me is my biggest highlights of this uh, of the direct so far so let me see here um let me see here at, at the two minutes 18 mark. all right let's see our first batch of nintendo switch headlines first batch okay let me see here oh, okay so, um, okay mario party superstars Oh yeah, I, like the thing is with this game, I I'm kind of excited though. I have yet to get Super Mario Party on the Switch. I mean, given I did play a few Mario Party, I I thought back in the day, normally Mario Party DS back back on the Nintendo DS back back when I enjoy, uh, had had Nintendo DS. So anyway, I was uh, uh, I well I do know for a fact that it's gonna bring uh, uh, boards from the N sixty four days over to over to the Switch. So I'm kind of excited for that. I mean. I know this was in the previous direct before this, but the way they emphasize it here, it makes me want to get the game even more. So, with that, yeah, that the next one. Let me get over to the next highlight here. What I think of. Let me see here. Okay, uh, okay, this one I gotta talk about. Ready, set, Chocobo. Chocobo GP. Start. Now. To me, I mean, when I saw this, I, I initially thought, okay, so it's going to be mixing Final Fantasy with Mario Kart. I mean, get, granted, I never even heard of this game. I mean, if, if it's a remake of something, please let me know. I mean, I would love to hear uh, hear about it and, like, yeah, you know, try to pick it up on a different console. If, if it's not a remake, then I'm glad to see if this is an original thing that Square's doing. All right, so, okay, next highlight. What did you think? Before we show you our next video, we have some news about the last fighter for the Super Smash Okay, this moment right here made me jump out of my chair. Like, I legit, the last fighter is going to reveal Mr. here. Sakurai, yeah, the here is down there. Will reveal this fighter. The final uh, fighter, Mr. Sakurai presents, tune in October 5th. Uh, okay, so Mr. Sakurai, you want to milk the hype as, lo as long as you can, eh? Well, I'll definitely be here for that. All right, for my hopes, I'm hoping either it's gonna be Rayman, Crash Bandicoot. Those two choices, really. I mean, I, I mean, I had strong hopes the previous times being I, Isaac from Golden Sun, um, and Shantae from the Shantae series, and Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia. But I digress. I mean, they got relegated to either, e either not being in the game at all. I mean, or just me costumes. So. Let's move on to the next highlight, so... Oh yeah, this is the next one after this. Next, please take a look at this. Oh yeah, the... The Kirby 3D game called, um... Let me see if I can scroll in the title here. Yeah, yeah I think it's called Kirby, uh, The Forgotten Land. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. So basically, the first 3D Kirby game because because I because I think quite surprised me for a while uh, that there wasn't a 3D Kirby game for the longest time. And no, the Crystal Shards does not count. It's only 2.5D. Yeah, and and I know that was for a 3D dedicated console like the N64. I mean, yeah, it's strange how it took them until two th well, not 2000. I mean. Yeah, it took them only until now to make a 3D Kirby game in its full, in full length. So spring 2022, yeah, I'll probably have to pick it up when that, when that launches. So, let's see next highlight. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Animal Crossing New Horizons is getting a direct with its own in, I believe October. I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, let me tell you. I mean, I kind of dropped Animal Crossing after. After many days of playing it because of burnout and all that, I mean, I just saw no value reason to get play the game every day unless it's for bells. So anyway, moving on to the next highlight, please. And of course, there's Mario Golf. 
Yeah, Mario Golf Superstars, which is just golf. And, yeah. So I'm dying like two, not that notable. Oh yeah, I got to talk about this one. Metroid Dread. Now, I know this uh, was revealed in Last Direct, but this... Yeah, I'm hella excited for Metroid Dread being the first uh, 2D Metroid game since Fusion in 2002. Yeah, yeah, so a whole 19 year gap I may add. Yeah, I'm so picking up this day one. Speaking as a huge Metroid fan right now, I want to see the next adventure of Samus Aran. Alright, so... Alright, so... So what's the next highlight on the list here? Oh, okay, this one. That's right. The Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack, the N64 plus Sega Genesis. Like, I, I predicted that the N64 would, yeah, uh, uh, would be here on, you know, uh, on the Nintendo Switch Online service at some point, but, but uh, that really surpassed my expectations. And Sega Genesis, I gotta be honest with you all, did not expect not expect that at all. Like. Yeah, and that was so out of left field for me. Like, I half expected the Game Boy to at least show up here in terms of handheld library, but... Yeah, I, I could take what I could guess. And the, and the control, controllers that uh, uh, they revealed, yeah, I kind of you know, knew uh, they, uh, that with every... Uh, uh, with the service that I got, I provide controllers. But, yeah, I'm so getting those, though. 50 bucks sounds a little steep, in my opinion. Well, I am low, if I should say so. Alright, so, anyway... Anyway, moving on. To hear indie games, Deltarune, all that. Uh, oh, oh, this infamous one. Oh boy. Our announcements in today's get Nintendo ready. Direct. All right, get the Mario casting for the Mario movie from Illumination, coming out in holiday two thousand no, twenty twenty two. Yeah, now I believe, if I say, I mean, I mean, the film's release date is not the major highlight. The major highlight of this one is the casting. The, uh, the voice cast uh, for, the, for the anime Mario movie. Like, oh my. Chris Pratt as Mario. Chris Pratt. I'm just... I, I was I was close to losing my shit at this point. <laughs> I cannot take this. And, alright, I cannot take this seriously. Though, I, it would be interesting to hear, hear Chris Pratt's um, Italian accent there, if, if any. And they got Charlie Day of... And for Luigi, you know, Charlie Day of, of, of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia fame. And and the one that... And the one casting decision I cannot take seriously at all. Jack Black as Bowser. <laughs> even, even thinking about it is making me laugh internally. I mean, even internally and externally. Like, I cannot take this seriously, like, at all. That is just, and another one that, that had me laughing hard. Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Like what? Is Donkey Kong can yeah, smoke a banana joint and, and speak to Mario in like muffled sentences. I mean, I'm just imagining that in my head right now. And of course, Charles Martinet is gonna be the, yeah, gonna be in the film, but only really, only really uh, relegated cameo. Yeah, he's basically taking the Stan Lee uh, route. I mean. Yeah, yeah, in this movie, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're a big Marvel fan, you probably know what I'm talking about. And yeah, additional roles, I mean, I mean, Kevin, Kevin Michael Richards is in this one, and two other names I yeah, haven't heard, yeah, never heard about. And aside from that infamous highlight, uh, aside, I mean, the next one up is Splatoon three. Now, uh, given I heard uh, on my well, this was first revealed back in the February direct of this year, and and that was uh, not to my shock. Like Splatoon's getting its third sequel. I mean, can't wait for this one brings the table. So, so this one highlights the how yeah, this one's gonna be in Splatsville and all the other battle modes and all that. I mean, just kind of wait and see on this one. And the last highlight for me, anyway, is. Yeah, ignore that. That's my brother coming in through. All right, is 
Okay, the last highlight is Bayonetta 3. I, like, internally, in my head, I'm, I'm just screaming, it lives! Like, that, that got me the most, I, because I really love Bayonetta 1 and 2. And getting his third sequel on the way, it just made me all ex all hyped and excited. And, and that's for, that's for, uh, and that's all the highlights I gotta mention for this direct. Now, this direct will probably uh, be infinitely, uh, infinitely, uh, be the best or worst for, uh, for some reason, uh, for, for the right, right or wrong reasons, but uh, at least the, Mar but the Mario casting will be the biggest thumb sticking point out. Now, before I go here, I want to uh, show you all something this. Yeah, I finally got myself an HD capture card with a, with that, with the wires that came through. I mean, I purchased it on Amazon about two months ago, and hopefully I'll work the kinks out to, like, try to edit some videos and get gameplay footage in. I mean, if I can read the directions properly. Alright, so, without all that said, I'm gonna about to get up. I'm gonna, like, end this video now because it's already long as it is at 11, at almost, you know, 11, 20 minutes, 20 seconds. So, anyway, this is Glitch Boy X here, signing out, and also I know you're all awesome. Oh, and, and be sure to make... An additional side note, uh, wear a mask if you go outside, get vaccinated if possible.